Hi, this is Habiba. In this session, we are going to discuss how to perform importance performance map analysis and importance performance matrix for our model um, in Smart PLS. As we know that PLS SAM is a variance-based approach that focuses on the uh, explanation of behavior of certain target construct due to the predecessor constructs. We can see that our two of our major constructs have direct effect and indirect effect for SI and II and uh, before starting for the calculation we need to meet uh, three requisites first uh, number one is that your data should be on metric or quasi metric scale like an interval scale or you can say one to five or one to seven Likert scale number two that the that the minimum and maximum value of data should be from the lowest possible outcome towards the highest possible outcome and in that case if some of the indicators uh, are, are not in that format we need to do the reverse scaling third option is that outer ways should be positive for all the indicators otherwise we need to remove that indicator when and not cannot run our ipma analysis we will go for the calculation select the ipma uh, option and show that the IPM may provide the relevant information for the importance of constraint in explaining or uh, other construct in the structural model and uh, it's uh, this uh, result is relevant for drawing conclusions and it's also explain the results by taking the performance each constructs into account we will leave the partial uh, partial least square option on default Let's select the target constructs, which is W in our case. For IPM results, we have to mention that either we need or require all the predecessors of the selected target constructs or just the direct predecessor. Uh, like we have seen that we have the two major predecessors, GW and ED, and uh, uh, which are directly both are clean directly. So we need to select this option over here. Here we will come to ranges as we know that the, we need to specify each indicator, minimum and maximum values required for rescaling data from 0 to 100. Smart PLS automatically read this minimum and maximum values uh, from the data. Uh, if the respondents have not made use of the uh, Mm, full uh, scale for example the actual minimum value is 2 instead of 1 the smart PLS correctly rescale the data consequently the rescale latent variable scores will not be between 0 to 100 or rather they might be between minus 5 and 95 in such a case we need to manually insert the true minimum and the maximum values and uh, so you can see you can change it for each of your indicator otherwise you can use simultaneously for all of our, your indicators and apply it to all so we don't need to change it here because we have all the values from uh, 1 to uh, 5 range so let's start the calculation here we get uh, importance performance map and standards effects uh, uh, for and uh, standardized effect for both constructs and the indicator level. Why uh, we are going for the unstandardized effect? Because unstandardized effects facilitate a citrus paribus interpretation of the predecessor constructs impact on the target construct. The interpretation of the unstandardized effects is analogous to that of the unstandardized weights in OLS regression models as per here at all 2010. So by drawing on unstandardized effects, uh, we can conclude that an increase in certain predecessor construct performance would increase the target performance uh, um, uh, by the size of its unstandardized total effects. So here we can see that our map is divided into four quadrants, the uh, predecessor constructs in the upper left uh, quadrant uh, shows her, uh, above average uh, performance but below average importance while the predecessor in the lower left quadrant shows uh, both below average performance and below average impor importance. We have one of the predecessor constructs in the right, upper right quadrant which shows uh, above average performance and above average importance both. but Managers are more interested in the predecessor construct that lie in the lower right quadrant, which shows the above average performance or uh, above average importance or very high importance but low average performance. And the goal is to improve the Im performance of that construct to improve the performance of our target construct. How we will, uh, okay, let's see how we will uh, interpret our. Uh, 
um, results we can say we can have the numerical values of constant total effects and constant performance so you can say that by increasing the performance of ed by from uh, for one unit from 60.793 to 61.793 you can increase the performance of we by 0 0.380 points you can see in our map also because as you have mentioned earlier the unstandardized effects uh, give us the interpretation that by increasing the one unit increase of the performance of the certain uh, target constructs we can increase the important performance of this, of certain predecessor construct we can increase the performance of the target construct as well which is equal to the size of the total effect so you can say that by increasing the uh, 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 the performance by 60.1.793 you can increase the performance of uh, target construct by 0.38 units you can uh, okay. manager are also interested in the aspect of the uh, target construct that are responsible for shaping that behavior so you can see their data on the indicator level also here we have the mean values of the indicator on the um, y axis rescale from 0 to 100 where the total effect size is on the x axis here you uh, can uh, see that the e3 is an indicator which has the most importance but has less performance as compared to the other indicators of the ed that is e5 and you can say e4 yeah so they have less importance as compared to our indicator e3 but showing more performance so you can increase the performance of that aspect these decisions are particularly important when you are make, going to make the man, uh, decisions regarding some marketing of your products so you want if you want to know which aspect of the products is more important in view of your consumer but is showing the less performance you can check it on the uh, uh, IPMA on the indicator level uh, uh, so this what is the significance of IMA, IPMA how is different from the simple pair model uh, estimates is that instead of displaying the r square values of the endogenous latent variables in the pls path model ipma results show the performance values of each latent variable and instead of displaying the standardized outer loadings of weights the ipma results show unstandardized and rescaled outer weights of the measurement model regardless of if they are formative or reflective so we can run this IPMA both a formative and reflective model um, on the condition that we have the positive outer weights for all the indicators. Thank you.